Welcome to Kiel Observatory. It's here on the highest point in the campus, uh, a whopping 210 meters above sea level. Uh, so I'm going to show you around. Uh, it's a facility that's uh, available to all of you. So uh, if you want to visit it, uh, just have a look at the website or get in touch with us. Uh, you can also come and volunteer, become part of the team. And hopefully you have a chance to look through the telescopes uh, on a clear evening sometime. Okay, we're standing here in what used to be a field with cows until 55 years ago. Um, and then this dome was built uh, to house this marvelous telescope. Uh, it's a very old telescope from 1874. Uh, we got it from Oxford Observatory because they closed. Now this uh, uh, telescope at the time was the seventh largest telescope in the world. It was very powerful uh, for our research. Um, and it has a long history of research in the 19th century, but now we use it for the public. So you can come and have a look through it. So the observatory also has a, a large room for activities and things on display, and that's especially popular if the weather's not very good. It's the only room that's actually warm in winter, so come in. So we host visits uh, by groups of uh, people, children from schools and scouting groups, uh, societies, um, but also just the visitors on the, on the public evenings. Uh, and sometimes we do a little bit of our teaching here. One of the telescopes uh, that I haven't introduced yet is, is this. This is a solar telescope. Uh, obviously you have to be very careful when you look at the sun. So this uh, telescope has a filter which selects uh, only a very little bit of the light of the sun. Uh, but that's the light of the sun in which you can see the eruptions happening. And uh, in the background here there's a picture that was taken through this telescope. And you see some of these eruptions at, uh, at the limb of the sun. Here we are at the second dome of our observatory, which was added in the early 1970s. And it houses a 24 inch, 60 centimeter research telescope. So I'm gonna show you around, so if you follow me. This is the, the control room on the first floor. Um, and uh, here we will be sitting operating the telescope and uh, the instruments. So this is very similar to what we do when we go to the largest observatories in the world for our research. Uh, but we've got it here at uh, the Kiel University campus. So here we've got some, some software that uh, allows us to operate the telescope and uh, to operate the instrument, which is a camera. So here you see actually an image through a microscope of, of the detector that we're using. Uh, and here we've got a uh, a map of the sky and we can point at uh, stars of interest and the telescope we ste steer there and start observing. So up here is uh, our telescope. Um, it has got a, a mirror here in the bottom. Uh, that's the, the mirror that collects the light and uh, concentrates it. So the light is sent up uh, to another mirror uh, which then reflects it sideways into the camera and uh, the camera sends the images downstairs to the computer. So we don't look through this telescope ourselves, um, but we use the, the instrument for that. As I said, undergraduate students uh, have an opportunity to see what it's like to do these observations, and they can learn how to use the telescope if they're really keen, and take part in real science. Thanks for having visited uh, the observatory. As you see, there's a lot to do, uh, there's a lot to learn, um, so we hope to see you again. If you are wondering when we are open, uh, then uh, it's Tuesdays evenings and Saturday afternoons. Uh, in between sometimes we have other activities going on, so just have a look at the website or get in touch with us. And uh, we hope to see you again. Mm -hmm.